Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I decided to make another video on Octopish because, well, it quite evolved and now as you can see there are a lot of new features and I think I need to explain how it all works and how to use it because no one reads guides nowadays anyway. It will be the last video on Octopish, after that I will switch to more educational stuff where I will show you how you can make your own bots for different games and different platforms. Afterfish bot is an open source project, it's completely free and you can use it as long as you like. Nothing will pop up in a week asking you for your, I don't know, credit number, license key or something like this. So if it helped you in some way, you can press like and subscribe, I would be very grateful for that. Alright, let's start from the installation process. First, you need to click on the link in the description, scroll down and carefully read these two parts. It is very important, because some people watching my videos don't quite understand what consequences could be by using bots especially on official servers. Read them, think about what is written there, and then, if you decided to step on this path, you can download the bot. After you downloaded it, you click twice and the installation process begins. It will install the bot into your updater folder under a random name. Don't worry, you can uninstall it from the settings and it will disappear from your computer forever. The name of the application will be the same as the name of the shortcut you can find on your desktop. After installation is finished, the bot will be launched automatically. Now we need to open the game. Let's open Mist of Pandaria as our test subject. When in the game, check two things. Switch to window or full screen window mode and then turn on auto load. We will come back to it later when we talk about wireless option. Then we need to find a good fishing place. Here is your fishing zone. The bot looks for the bobber only in this zone or area, call it as you like. So all you need to do is to avoid any red colors in this zone, because it's a pixel bot and it operates on colors, namely on red color. You can change the size of this area in the advanced settings, right here. Ok, we opened the game, found a good fishing place, now it's time to set our fishing skill and lures to some keys so that the bot could use them to fish on his own. Let's do exactly this. After that you can press start. In most cases the bot will fish on its own and everything will be alright. But, imagine that we are in some snowy area where lightning isn't so good. We press start and nothing happens. That's because the red color on the bobber is too dark and our red color threshold value is too high. All we need to do is to make this value smaller. Let's change it. Let's try again. And... nothing. Let's lower it a more. Now it works. Cool. Let's imagine the opposite of this situation. We want to fish in some reddish area like Durata. We found a fishing place, press start, and we got an error that says that there are red colors in the fishing zone. Well, yeah, there are some. So to make the bot avoid exactly these colors and simultaneously see the red feather on the bobber, we need to make our threshold value a little bit larger. Like this. Let's see if it worked. You can use Afterfish on multiple windows, for that you don't need to do anything. Just open the windows, place every bot properly, check the fishing zones for red colors in advance and press start. If one of the bots stops working, for example if it was killed, the others will keep on working. I don't recommend using like a human option if you use more than two windows, because some of the bots won't catch up. That was the most important part. From now on, you know how to use the bot. Yeah, that is that simple. 
But there is another interesting feature, which I added after I noticed, that bags being filled quite quickly if you leave the boat to work for a long time. Here you can see the result of using this feature. There is only fish we can sell for a good price, not rush whatsoever. But before using this feature, we need to set our UI scale to default. Let's do this. Also, don't forget to turn off Auto Load option. This is a simple white list. All we need to do is to check the name of the fish you need and write it right here. The name should be exactly the same. You can also use multiple names separated by comma. White list supports different languages. I tested some of them and it worked the same way as English. For example, there's a Russian language. And if you are Russian and instead of invading other countries, suddenly decided to play some wolf, you can use this feature. There are also other options in the advanced settings, explanation to which you can find just by moving your mouse over these little question marks. If you play on some custom server, or World of Warcraft in some other language, you can use this custom window option to find your particular window you want the bot to work with. If you are going to use the bot on private servers, you probably won't need options that randomize delays, values, and make the bot sleep sometimes. Turning them off will make the bot walk 2-3 times faster. I tested the bot for many hours on different servers, I also tested it on virtual machines, but there will be some people that will run into some bugs and issues for sure. So if you are one of them, don't just write it doesn't work and then disappear. Try to describe where you use the bot, how you use it, and provide some additional info on the matter, and I surely will try to help you. All the information in this video you can find by reading the guide on out of fish GitHub page. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I almost forgot, you can stop the bot by pressing spacebar.